Hi, I'm Adam with Amtac Suppressors. I uh, want to talk to you today about cleaning the Fire Ant 22 suppressor. Because this is a rimfire suppressor and you're going to be shooting unjacketed lead bullets, you do need to clean it periodically. We recommend about every two to 300 rounds. Uh, in order to take it apart, most of the time you're just going to need your hands, but if you do go too far between cleanings and need some mechanical advantage, we broached a slot for a quarter inch Allen key in the front and we cut some wrench flats for a 7 8 end wrench in the back. So you just use what's in your toolbox, you don't need anything special. Uh, in order to take it apart, you just unthread the rear cap, you push out the baffle structure and the inner tube, and then you separate the baffle structure from the inner tube. Um, this is made out of a 17-4 precipitation hardened stainless, so it's going to be a lot tougher than an aluminum suppressor. You can get pretty aggressive when you're cleaning it. You a stiff bristle brush and a good lead solvent is what we usually use. You can throw it in a sonic cleaner, that's totally fine. I just want to make sure you take off these little rubber gaskets before you do that. When you are reassembling the suppressor, you'll notice that on the inner tube here, we have kind of a large notch sticking out, and that corresponds to the largest of the four notches that are cut into the baffle structure. Uh, that large notch is going to line up with one of the thick parts of the baffle structure along the edge here. And the reason that we do that is to make it so you basically can't put the suppressor together incorrectly. When you line up that notch, you'll notice that you cannot see into the baffle structure uh, as you could if you did it incorrectly. The reason we do that is we don't want lead to get all the way to the outer tube and weld it shut. So when you're putting the thing back together from here, you just find the larger of the four notches on the outer tube. You line it up with that one on the baffle structure and you slide everything together. And you'll notice if you put it together incorrectly, you're going to have a little gap around the top like that. If you put it together correctly, there won't be a gap. Everything will be nice and clean. And then all you do is you thread on your rear cap. You don't need to get super crazy tightening down the end cap. Uh, hand tight will do just fine. Uh, you don't need to bust out any tools or anything like that. So that's all there is to it. If you have any questions on how to do this, what processes or what chemicals we use to clean it, go ahead and leave those questions up in the comments. And if for anything else, visit us at amtaxsuppressors.com.